What is so funny? <laughs> I've just discovered that New Amsterdam has a listing on Yelp. Yelp? Yeah, you know, where people post online reviews about places they love, things they hate, their experiences. Oh, like Facebook, but on the internet. Um, yeah, exactly. Listen to this. It was posted two minutes ago by at Nancy Pants. The rooms at New Amsterdam are freezing, the lights are horrifically bright, and the only thing older than this mattress is my bald doctor who can never seem to find his glasses. One star. Can we see this? <laughs> I know this patient. This is Nancy Nan. She's doing a sleep study with me. One star, VJ. Ouch. One star? That's absurd. All she has to do is to sleep. I'm joking. Don't worry about it. <laughs> 40 plus years of practice and an expert in my field of study, I should be able to do better than one star? We shall see about this. Uh, VJ, my phone and your glasses. Yeah. Why are you losing me? I honestly have no idea. To get better results on your sleep study, we wish for you to uh, have a warmer room with the better lighting and much, much softer bed. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, what's up with the lamp? Uh, we're moving this patient to a nicer room for some random reason. What? No! We have a reason. The reason is because we are trying to provide Miss Nan with the most comfortable care here in the new Amsterdam because patient comes first. Right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Finally, someone who gets it. Thank you. You are welcome. Yeah, we gotta go the extra mile. You know, our patients do come first. I mean, <laughs> this is what I've been saying. You know, these people depend on us for care. They put their very lives in our hands. My boyfriend just hates my snoring. You know what, we can do better. We can do better than just provide her with comfortable care. We can? Yeah, how would Ms. Nan like a stay in our presidential suite? I imagine she would like that very much. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, okay. Come on, come on before he changes his mind. Thank you. Oh, um, Dr. Cow, how do you spell your last name? Uh, K-A-O. Dr. Agnes Cow. Oh, Thomas Jefferson once stayed in our presidential suite. Is that right? Mm. This room has housed the architect of the Declaration of Independence. And now, that Nancy Pants from Yelp. I know how this looks. Yeah, I feel like if you did, we wouldn't be having this conversation. This was not my idea. I swear it was Max's. Hold on. The, the ludicrous coddling of Nancy Nan, a woman who isn't even sick, came from Max. Yes. And if his error in judgment leads to an enhancement of my online status, well, this is just a happy coincidence. I need your help right away. Hey. Not now. OK. This better be important. I am at the end of my rope now. I have a patient who, no matter the treatment, cannot be helped. Is this about your spine, no, cerebellum degeneration? No, he's fine. It's about at Nancy Pants. I brought this on myself, didn't I? Look at this. The hundred-year-old doctor just tried to buy me off. Pro tip, want a better review? Don't give me the scratchiest sheets on the planet. One star. She is insufferable. Isn't she in the presidential suite? Yes, and she's still displeased. Wait, we use 600 thread count Egyptian cotton in there. Nothing will ever be good enough for this woman. It's hard to believe she's a woman of refined taste, given her screen name is at Nancy Pants. I don't know what more to do. Wait, what if she actually had incredibly sensitive skin? It has to be the most sensitive skin on this planet, or... Oh, dear. Exactly. Oh, yeah. We must examine you right away. I'm trying to sleep here. You're on your phone. That's how I get to sleep. Blue light disrupts the production of melatonin, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, do you mind showing me your legs, please? Um... Dr. Kapoor believes your discomfort has nothing to do with the sheets. OK, sure. Oh. How long have you had this rash? I've never noticed it before. Can I have that glass?
The rash doesn't blanch under pressure. We must get her to the procedure room now. Wait, wait, what? Why? Miss Nan, it appears you have contracted meningococcal meningitis. If we don't treat you now, you could die. I need a procedure room stat. Pulse 97, BP 100 over 60. Can you feel the pop? You know you are in. There. HR, normative range. And see? Here you go. You okay? Uh, I guess so. You are collecting the fluid to identify which bacteria is making you so sick. Additional LP kit is on the tray. I just came in for a simple sleep study. And see? She's unresponsive. Heart rate is up to 124. BP's down to 80 over 40. You're going to septic shock. Give it to the lab, hurry. Rapid response. Procedure room number two. I'll get it. Passing through the cerebral cortex. The center of the infections in the third ventricle. I don't think you'll be able to hit it. Keep looking at the CT. Go ahead and remove the trap set from the trap. Four centimeters to the lateral ventricle. You're too close. If you clip that, she'll never walk again. Just imagine that review. Heart rate and blood pressure are stable. Check that bone flex. See if it needs to. Forty-three years ago, I made a decision to be a doctor. To dedicate my life to the service of others. It was never about reviews. <laughs>